I'm back this month at Elmwood Auto Group with General Manager Dennis Freeman and after much anticipation, the 2020 Jeep Gladiator is finally here. Dennis, how excited are you? We're super excited, Chrissy. I'm excited, my sales reps are excited, our customers are excited. After a couple years in the lab, the Jeep engineers finally decided that the Jeep Gladiator was ready to be launched. And here it is. Tell me more. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Dennis, I know that the Jeep Wrangler is one of your most popular vehicles, and the Gladiator kind of looks like that just with the truck bed. Is it really the same thing, or? It is and it isn't. That's a great question. So they built the Jeep Gladiator from the ground up. It does share a lot of the same DNA as the Wrangler. They built it as rough and rugged and tough as the Jeep Wrangler, with the same off-road capabilities, the same trail-rated capabilities. But again, they rebuilt it from the ground up um, on, a, on more of a uh, pickup truck platform. They made the grill a lot larger. They still stayed true to its roots with the seven slotted grill, which represents the seven continents that the Jeep has been on. But they had to enlarge those grill slots um, for the towing capacity to be able to cool down the engine and the, uh, and the radiator. A couple other things they did was they pushed the wheels to the furthest most point of the vehicle to make it a lot more stable and give it a little bit better ride than most mid-sized trucks. The Jeep Gladiator has quadricoil suspension. And a lot of my customers ask me, can coil suspension still uh, maintain the same payload and weight in the bed area as leaf springs? And the answer is yes. So the Jeep Gladiator, as rugged and tough as it is, still gives you a great ride on the road. So there really is a difference between the two. There really is. <laughs> So the all new Jeep Gladiator comes in three trim levels, the Sport, the Overland, and the Rubicon. Now the Sport is the entry level Gladiator, starts in the low 30s, still comes nicely equipped with full power, AM FM radio with satellite radio, backup camera, remote keyless entry, and then we step up to our Overland package, and that model comes with leather seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel, a larger screen, navigation, and then we step up to the uh, Rubicon. The Rubicon is the off-road ready vehicle from the factory. The Rubicon gives you 33 inch deep tread tires, full undercarriage skid plates, front and rear axle lockers, sway bar disconnect, and four wheel disc self-cleaning brakes. So the Jeep engineers understand and know that a lot of Gladiator owners are going to want to build these up and accessorize them and really make them off-road ready. So the, uh, the Rubicon is that model already done up for you. So many gadgets. <laughs> so many gadgets. <laughs> so the closer I get to this Gladiator, the more I see Wrangler. How are they similar? They're very similar, Chrissy. Again, I keep trying to differentiate the two, and there are a lot of differences, but there's certainly a lot of similarities. What really sets the all-new Gladiator apart from other mid-sized trucks is it does share a lot of the same Wrangler characteristics. The front windshield still folds flat, so with four bolts on each side, this windshield will fold flat. The doors are removable, just like a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, two hinge bolts here, a check strap on the inside, and this door lifts right off. And it's, it's all aluminum, and there's actually a handle on the inside to help you carry it. Go ahead and pull on that door. You'll see how, how, how light the door itself is. And of course, it wouldn't be a Wrangler without the removable top. So three L brackets on each side and a little clamp on the front, and this top lifts right off. And again, same thing. There's a little handle on the inside. Um, they're nice and light. There's also a storage bag, uh, a line storage bag that comes with the Gladiator. You can throw those in the back, throw them in the tailgate, or if it's gonna be a beautiful day, just leave them at home. It's like a transformer. <laughs> exactly. So I heard that this has more rear leg room than any other mid-sized truck. Is this true? It is true, 100%. Wow. Take a look. Now the doors open up to almost a 90 degree angle. You're gonna notice how much space is in the back seat. Fold up oh, for wow. under seat storage. So this seems to be the perfect size truck. Not too big, not too small, and I got up close and the bed looks bigger than I expected. The bed is actually pretty roomy, Chrissy. So the bed length is five feet, and with the tailgate down, it's six and a half feet. And the tailgate is damped, so um, again, just press the release and it comes down automatically for you. You can just feel how light it is um, with yeah. one hand. <laughs> just, you know, close it. There's still a lot of uh, unique features on the inside of this bed 
slideable adjustable track rack on both sides of the bed, tie downs in all four corners. There's a 115 volt power outlet located here and it's a, it's a three prong. Some of the ones in the beds of our competitors are, are just two prong. Uh, the rear bed is also illuminated which can be controlled from the cab of the truck. And once I put this tailgate back up, you're going to notice the uh, center line camera here. Um, and, and that's purposely put right in the middle of the truck. So as you're backing up to an item or backing up to something you might be towing, it's looking directly at the trailer hitch. And that can be viewed in the eight and a half inch uh, full color screen on the inside. Tow package is included in this model. And not only do you get the hitch, but you also get the, uh, the receiver, the wiring built right into the bumper for the four or seven. And of course, no Jeep products would be complete without uh, tow hooks. There's tow hooks front and rear of the vehicle. It really has everything. It, 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 it really does. So now that we're inside, I see a lot of buttons. What are these? So there's a lot of buttons in the Gladiator, Chrissy. Um, some of them are for radio and HVAC controls. Some of them are safety items. Again, the Jeep Gladiator comes loaded with a lot of high-end features. Um, here we have your heated steering wheel control. Here we have heated seat control. Most heated seats are two tier, low and high. This actually is a three tier setting, low, medium and high. The Jeep Gladiator comes standard with a start stop feature. Um, when the vehicle comes to a complete stop, as long as the occupants have their seat belts on and the, uh, the vehicle is running at its optimal temperature, the engine will shut off whenever the vehicle comes to a complete stop. Um, it has a heavy duty starter, which, um, you know, kicks on every time the vehicle needs to stop back up and it's seamless. As soon as you attempt to take your foot off the brake, it senses it and it turns the vehicle back on. What that does is it conserves fuel for those times that you might be sitting in traffic, sitting at a, at a red light. So again, that is a feature that can be turned off and that's that button here. The Jeep Gladiator is loaded with safety features such as forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, lane departure assist. There's also obviously your backup camera with stop and the sensors in the bumper front and rear will sense when you get close to an object and it'll, it will alert you with an audible chime and it'll also apply the brakes for you if you get too close. So a lot of these other buttons that you see, those are the buttons to turn those features off if you choose to do so. Here we have the cruise control and these buttons are the settings for the adaptive cruise control. So the adaptive cruise control gives you three predetermined distances between the car in front of you. When you activate that, that'll keep you cruising at a safe distance uh, behind the vehicle in front of you. You don't have to apply your brakes, you don't have to apply the gas, simply sit back and relax and uh, the Jeep Gladiator does the driving for you. Wow, safe, efficient and luxurious. <laughs> exactly, the best of all worlds. After everything I've seen today, I'm highly impressed and I really do think that the Gladiator is going to hit a home run. The Gladiator certainly, not just a home run, a grand slam. Uh, the Jeep engineers really thought of everything with the Jeep Gladiator. They did a, a fantastic job combining a fun off-road vehicle with the Wrangler and, and, and a pickup truck with the Ram. So uh, they kind of mated those together and uh, again, it's, it's a grand slam. Uh, we have a very vast selection of Jeep Gladiators as well as other new and pre-owned vehicles. I'd like to invite anybody who may be interested in a new or used vehicle to come down to Elmwood Auto Group and get a great deal.